Hey guys, today we're taking apart an HP NV5660 printer, which is very similar to HP 5540 printer. Um, so we're just going to get right to it. We're going to remove simple parts first. Uh, this video could be helpful for you to repair a part, maybe replace a part, or just take parts off for uh, you have something on hand if you have a similar model. So the output tray comes out very easy. This one is locked so it doesn't open, but if if yours doesn't pop out, this is probably why. Check that out. Um, then we're gonna remove the out uh, paper tray, and we're gonna put it on its side. I'll show you how to do that. I'll just uh, put the printer upside down so we could better see it. And we're gonna use a T10 Torx screw driver tip, size 10, and we're gonna remove one side here Spins off and our tray comes out to remove the paper pickup roller we're going to remove this screw this is just a quick video i have a similar model that i just posted a video of um and it's very very similar so this uh paper pickup roller is right here we need to remove that piece here and just lift it with a flathead screwdriver very gently um, so you're going to start with this side pick it up there and now pop it out of here and be very careful kind of push it back and it's out so if your gears are broken in here you may want to replace this piece sometimes they're available online Sometimes we have them. Um, now we're going to put the printer back. We're going to remove the power supply. There's one screw right here. Let's just pop this open. Oops. Don't let any screws go into the printer, but since we're taking it apart. This is our power supply. That's pretty much it for the exterior parts. This one comes out, the top cover just lifts up like so. And then, let's see. I haven't removed it, so I'm not sure how it removes this top piece. It should be usually very simple though. But we're going to skip that part for now. We're going to lift the printer. Then on this side of the printer, we're going to pull this towards the front. So we could open this top cover, like so. Then there's two screws right here that we're going to remove in order to take the control panel off. Got the two screws out. Slide it slightly to the right. Pick it up. Disconnect it. And here we go. So let's remove screws here so we could get access to inside of the printer. First we're going to remove this here. This is the spring that holds the top part from falling back but I have support in the back as you can see and that's why it's not falling back so let's just go ahead with screws like one so far this is second this is third So now we're going to push the side away, like so. Something on this right side. Let's 
and we're going to disconnect this piece right here. Then we're going to remove the sides so we could get access to the formatter board. Same thing here. Cartridges. Then we're going to push this piece back like so, so it releases our carriage unit. To remove the timing strip, you just push it to the left and here. Like so, when you put it back in, make sure it goes into this slot with the arrow up on the right side. Now we can remove the top portion with the scanner. Just disconnect it and lift it up. We're going to disconnect all the wiring here to remove the um, formatter board or the printer main board. So there's one, two, three. Let me bring this down a little bit. So all of these are removed now. I believe all of them. We're going to clamp it here and pull it out. Remove all this the connections here. Just the last part I believe that we need to take out is the carriage unit. So we're going to lift these pieces here up. Like so let's remove the magnet here. There we go. We're going to remove the belt. Now we need to go in here and remove these pieces. So I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to re remove these pins here. There we go. And there's a spring. And same, same thing on the other side of the rod. There we go. Make sure you find that spring wherever it went. I'll be able to find those with some tweezers. So we have that side done. And we're going to go to this side and same thing here. It's a little bit more accessible here. Oh, and then we don't even have to remove this piece. Just pull the rod out. And here's our carriage unit. There we go. So that's pretty much it for this printer, 5660 Envy. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is just a guide to get to certain parts. Uh, I wasn't intending on showing you how to put everything back together, but you can always take pictures as you go so you can see where things go. Um, hopefully this helps you. If it does, please like, share, um, like this video, share it and subscribe to our channel. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.